everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel here at Disneyland in Anaheim, California. In California. We're in California. That's right. For this video, we'd like to take you around, give you a quick tour of our accommodations here. We're just in a standard view room. Nothing special here, just uh, pretty run of the mill. But to give you an idea of what the rooms are like here at Paradise Pier Hotel, which is the uh, like kind of the lowest uh, like a value, basically. Yeah, there's hotel. there's three hotels on Disneyland property: Paradise Pier, Disneyland Hotel, and Grand Californian. And in terms of upscaliness, <laughs> it, they go in that order. And at in least, price, they go in that order. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, so just to give you an idea, we are going to be going to all three hotels during this trip, and I'll link um, the other two room tours once um, they're done to this video in case you want to go and compare and stuff like that, but we're starting at Paradise Pier today. That's right, so let's give you a quick jaunt around the room, show you everything it has to offer. All right, we are up on the 13th floor here. You usually don't see that fun carpet design, reminiscent of like coral and the ocean. We got starfish and sand dollars, a couple of Mickeys with some bubbles, seaweed design, then like also the nautical lamp style on the wall, blue walls, and then I like the door placard, surfboard, oh, 1309. I didn't, even, I didn't even notice that. That's yeah, it's kind of hidden over there. Huh. Come in, uh, you'll notice if you watch our Disney World stuff where you've been, this no magic bands here, no My Disney Experience, so this is just standard key card. A key card, we haven't used that in a while. That's right. And then, you know how it is with Disney, back side of the door, emergency exit plan, whatever peephole, and a lower one as well. And just the swing lock, no dead bolt, just that standard swinging lock. And then that's pretty much it for the entry. We have the light switch that controls this overhead light here. And we have the bathroom on this side and the closet on this side. So let's take a look in the bathroom now. Okay, so right when we enter on the right side, we have the bathroom. I mean, like right when we enter, there's the door to the room. And come right inside to the right. We do have our bathroom, which has this nice beach chair wallpaper. This is pretty fun. Our standard tub shower combo. Shower head clothesline that comes across there. Connects here. A little bit of wave riptide tile work. That's pretty fun. And of course the shower curtain. Continuing this Paradise Pier surfboard theme that we see throughout the rest of the room um, on the shower curtain there. So that's fun. Our toilet. We do have our extra towels hanging up here, uh, tissue box, and then they still are using the individual H2O, like the body wash, shampoo, lotion, conditioner. So you can take that with you. Shower cap even. That's interesting. You don't always see that. A couple of uh, wall mount lights here. Of course, the big mirror right above the uh, sink area. Just the one sink, even though it's quite a long area. It's just that one. And we do have our facial soap and a little clamshell. So that's cool. Our ice container right here. Glasses to drink from with the sun uh, coasters underneath them. So that's cool. We do have two outlets here, GFI. And our two lights switches can control the lights there on the wall. And then the one up above on the ceiling. And then underneath, just the trash can. That's about it. So pretty standard bathroom. All right, so coming out of the bathroom, we have the closet with mirrors, full length mirror on both doors, sliding doors here. And the funny thing is, as you see here, the hanging bar for the closet is so far out that it actually, its of course it's not doing it right now because the things turn when I hit them, but it hits oh, the hangers. So that's kind of funny. But we do have a very large closet here, a uh, long shelf up top with the extra linens. We do have, a, I believe this is a hair dryer, yes. We have our ironing board, irons tucked up in the back here. We do have a pack and play inside the room. And then the laundry bag and extra hangers on that side. Then this side of the closet, we have a continuing shelf up top, more linens on this shelf here, and then the luggage rack down below. So, pretty standard. It's a really big closet though. Yeah. Plenty of places to put like your suitcases and stuff. Definitely. So that's good. Uh, here we have the, oh, yeah, we have a trash can down below and just a little coffee area. This is a little cuisine art coffee maker or tea maker. <laughs> Both. Is this, is this cuisine arts version of a Keurig? Oh, I don't know. They're like little packets. Oh, oh like a little, yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay. We're not coffee drinkers, so we're not 
too familiar with all this. Oh, yeah, it's, so it's like a miniature oh. version of what they have at Disney World. Yeah, so it's like a little pod. You take this out, and I guess you put it in here. Yeah. And you fill this up with water. Disposable cups there. We do have the mirror and more nautical lighting up above. Oh, oh pretty nice. A little nook area there. Yeah, it's, it's organized well. Yeah. On the other side of the wall, we do have the thermostat, which controls the AC vent over there, and it works very well. Um, not fighting as much humidity as back in Florida. Next to the uh, thermostat here, we do have this fun beach art featuring the duck himself. This is my favorite thing in the whole room. That's pretty cool. Color by Technicolor. Hey, there we go. <laughs> back in the day. I like these Pixar balls. They used to just be beach balls. Uh, then when they had Pixar Fest oh. and did Paradise Pier over at California Adventure became Pixar Pier. They changed it to these Pixar balls, so that's fun. That's fun. Um, more nautical lighting up above. We have like kind of the, this is reminiscent to me of like a sand castle. I think it's maybe what oh, they were going for. You're right, I didn't notice that, but you're, you're definitely right. Of course, we have the color on the spread there and then down below as well. And the sheets, if you look really close, it's kind of hard to see. They do have little Mickeys on them though tucked away in there so that's fun and under the bed is solid so yeah no luggage under there nothing going under we do have two light switches in the middle which control these overhead lights here our phone alarm clock that does have uh, two USB ports on it fast charge so that's pretty cool of course our uh, private dining menu and pad and pen and all that stuff big drawer next to the bed and then a little cubby space down below same thing with this bed, same exact repeat as the one over there. And we turn here, we have a connecting door. Now, may, every room maybe not, may not have that, but that just connects to the room next door. Right, you could maybe have like adjoining rooms kind of situation, yeah. but we don't, so it's locked. This is pretty cool, they have the old Sun logo. I think that's pretty close, maybe exactly close to what used to be on the Ferris wheel over at California Adventure. Yeah. It's been changed though, but it's nice. Got that same kind of color going on, sand. I like this lamp with Mickey he's doing the lifeguard stuff it's up on, on the, the chair he's working hard <laughs> we have our television here it's a uh, pretty good size. I mean it's smaller than the ones they're starting to put in at Disney World but I'm not surprised with how big the the uh, furniture is it sticks out from the wall quite a bit you mm -hmm. don't really need it to be much bigger than that it does have a little storage space down below and then inside the big cabinet door here we have two things the safe and a miniature fridge which is pretty cold. Good. Not very cold, but pretty cold. Dandy. Yes. <laughs> then below that, pull out drawer, pull out drawer, and big pull out drawers down below here. So lots of storage space. Over here we have a, a couch, excuse me, and it's very long, very large couch. And this actually, as you can see here, it says operating instructions for opening day bed. This will kind of like flip out and down into a day bed. Oh, so you flip the top. Flip the top, is that how it works? Mm, that's how they're showing. Grasp yeah. the top rear corner of the back seat. Got it. Backrest and carefully pull down into bed position. Easier said than done, but oh, there it goes. Wowza. Oh, so you lay like this. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking it was going to flip, like kind of like our camper does. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Just like that. So it's a, so this is like a twin. Yeah. Okay. Kind of comes up into itself there, so now you're sleeping five. Okay, cool. that's pretty cool. That's, I mean, that's pretty easy. Yeah, and then back Whoa. up. It's really there. easy going back up. And uh, yeah. got it. Cool. Nice Dang. wood design there. Do have some more beach art, some umbrellas, sand. Looks like someone's having a picnic over there. So that's fun. I like this lamp. It's a big surfboard. That's cool. And it even it has a little shelf on it. A little cup holder. Yeah. Dink. Back on the other side, we do have this big sun mirror, which fits in with the, obviously, with the rest of the theming going on here. Another themed lamp. This one's a lighthouse next to the uh, AC return. Here we have plugs for telephones. Those are kind of old, outdated things. And then two standard outlets on the desk. And we do have this nice, like, wicker-style chair. And then this part, as you can see, it's actually on wheels down there. This will roll out. Oh, it's kind of like a surfboard. Oh, that's neat. And a hidden mickey design there but it does have the drawer that pulls out in a orange county informational book inside yeah. oh it's orange county here yeah just like in orlando oh how about that we went from orange county to 
Orange County to Orange County. Ah. That's interesting. So we turn here, the last thing we need to look at, there's no balcony with these rooms, there's just the big window, so we do have these blue and green, uh, like, blackout curtains, and then also that pattern continues on the valance up top. So these, of course, pull all the way across and close from each side, and we have the thin little day shears. We can open those up, and then this is the standard view that we mentioned. Lots of parking parking lots over there. You can see a little bit of Disneyland Hotel, I think, over there. We have our water slide, hot tub, and pool. One thing we do want to mention is that uh, we actually slept here last night, so this is the morning after, and lots of noise from those cars right there. When they beep, you hear it, and we're not sensitive to noise usually, but that was pretty loud. Yeah, we sleep pretty hard, so usually stuff doesn't bother us, but we could definitely hear cars in the parking lot, and also, too, we heard a lot of noise, um, like people running up above us, and we also heard noise um, coming from the hallway. So it definitely seems like this isn't the most soundproof room. I think it's understandable why this is probably the lowest priced one yeah. out of the three. I mean, I say that before seeing the other two, but um, but yeah, I, I definitely think it's nice that you're still on Disney property oh yeah you know i think it's worth it in that regard i think the biggest standout is that when you look around the room like the decoration and the art screams disney but the room design does not and that's because this hotel was not built as a disney hotel this used to be something different yeah. and disney acquired it and redid it and you can tell just by the design it's kind of the quality of some of the things probably why the soundproofness isn't as good yeah um yeah it just kind of got retrofitted in and i think they did a good job for doing that but um, but you can definitely kind of tell a little bit. Taking a look now at that private dining menu that we mentioned earlier. Of course, has the Paradise Pier logo on it. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Let's just run through this real quick here. Breakfast. So, 6 to 11 on breakfast. California omelet because we're in California. Eggs Benedict, please. And we have dinner 5 to 11 on Friday to Saturday. It's 5 to 12. Uh -huh. Ooh, buffalo wings, yeesh. They, they have a good amount of stuff. Chicken piccata. <gasps> and desserts. Kids menu. Mr. McAllister, your own cheese pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on the other floor? Oh, yes. Yeah. Beverages. Beverages. This is a white. <laughs> and oh beer beer lagers <laughs> pilsners <laughs> ales ciders and then there's also this little express menu a good way to start the day or a good start to a great day as it was actually says so this is one of those things that you can fill out like what you want for breakfast and it has the prices and everything on there and you just fill that out and hang it on your door by 11 p.m or you can call on the phone and order it too, and then they'll deliver this to you at your desired time. I'm taking this pen. Oh my. <laughs> All right, so that will wrap up our tour of our Paradise Pier hotel room standard view. Uh -huh. Our first of three hotels that we will be staying here at the Disneyland property in California. So hopefully you enjoyed this one, gave you an idea of what Paradise Pier has to offer with its rooms, and we hope you'll stay tuned as we then tour our Disneyland hotel room, which will also be a standard view uh, room, and then our Grand California room, which will be a deluxe studio, because that we're staying as vacation club members, so <laughs> that will be a little bit different. Hoping for a good view. If we get a high oh. enough floor, it'll happen. We hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. We try to respond to those as quickly as we can, and if you'd like to look into booking Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel or any other Disneyland property, we can help make that happen for you as travel agents. Our services are always complimentary, so if you're interested in booking please reach out via the travel agent information at the end of this video but with that said we will sign off for today we hope you've enjoyed this tour we'll see you around disneyland happy, happy travels. travels it's a first visit